Hey there, we are going to look at uh, some of the Excel functions in this video lecture starting with uh, some lookup functions and moving ahead and we'll end it with uh, the VBA recorder. So to start with we'll see what does we lookup does, how to use it and let's try to build up something here. So I'm going to create an example of VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP stands for uh, Vertical Lookup. So Vertical Lookup would look things vertically and uh, give you the uh, data that, that matches. So I'm putting down the fields and uh, just putting down some of the areas here. Now this is our table that, that has some data. And suppose we want to look up for uh, the name with uh, serial number 3. So there are some convention that is followed here. So we want to look at the value, say suppose we want to look at the value 3. We want to look at the value 4. And where do we want to look that is the next part. So we want to look for that value. So we want to look that value in the table. Now when we configure this, um, the table starts from D1 to F8, that is the entire table. And since it's a vertical lookup, it starts uh, looking things vertically in the first column and that's how it works. So it will look for 4 in the first column which is of the serial number and wherever it gets 4, we can define what do we want. So do we want the second column corresponding values to be displaced or the third column. So I said that give me the value of second column. And I say give me exact match. And when I do that, I get the second column. So, so the function, uh, the inputs that we are giving here is the uh, thing that we search that we want to search for. That thing is four. We could search for uh, some other number. But whatever we want to search for would be searched from the first column. We cannot change that. That is something that is fixed. And then we have to define which corresponding column do we want to take out. So do we want to take out name or do we want to take out job. And this is from the reference point of uh, this. So this is the first column, second column and third column. If I change this to 3, I will get the job info. So I am searching for serial number 4. And I am searching for the job there. So I am searching this. So this is how VLOOKUP works. There are some assumptions that goes into here that we are going to search for the element in the first column and we are going to display the corresponding column that we want to display. The name vertical suggests that our search is uh, done in a vertical way. Now moving ahead to the uh, H lookup. Now H lookup would do exactly the same. So this is V lookup. Now we are going to look at H lookup. H lookup is doing the same function, but the only thing that is different here is the way in which things would be looked at. So it will search uh, row wise. So it will search for a number in this row. So it will search for 4 in the first row of the selected table and then it will go to the 
row number that is being specified here. So I want to go to third row, which is of course the job part. When I do that, so I get the same value. I have used uh, everything is same. Only the orientation, which has now turned from uh, the vertical way of searching to the horizontal way of searching. Otherwise, the function remains the same. So it's again a lookup. So let's look at uh, the index function now. So the index function, uh, it works like uh, a two D search, where you first give your uh, system, where you first give your matrix, or you first give your input, which is a table, which is a two dimensional thing, and then you specify which dimension you are moving for. So this is something like the old Cartesian way. So this would be like uh, one comma one. This is like two comma two. And remember, the first is the column. So three comma one. Oops. Two comma one. So the first number suggests uh, which uh, row we are looking for and then we have the column. So if I change this, I get the name, which is the second element in the first row. <coughs> so the index function follow this Cartesian system. And it will search for <coughs> sorry. It will search for the uh, two the two dimensions that we have specified here. It's one comma two. So if I want to select manager, then I have to go to one two three four five one two three. So if I want to go there. So I'll specify the fifth row. And since it start with uh, the serial number, this is the fifth part. I'll start with the fifth row and the third column. So we are in, in the old Cartesian dimension system. So that's how the uh, index function would work. Now there is a general uh, uh, idea that uh, we keep these folds in a way for what we are looking for and for the input values. So whenever we do something for the input, output, selection, we'll keep different folds. So these are our learning objectives. So I'm keeping them in the same background so that when you look at it after some time, you can still get some idea of what we were doing. Let's now move to the next part, which is the data table. So data table or uh, the sensitization analysis is used to uh, find out the sensitivity of various input parameters. So suppose we are doing some calculations and we want to find out uh, uh, the sensitivity so suppose we have sales we have cogs and we have interest and then we have net income suppose our sales is 100 cogs is 20 this is 30 interest is 10 We have calculated the output. So now we want to find out the sensitivity of how would uh, uh, the net income change when we move individual factors. So we can have 2D uh, sensitivity analysis where we change two parameters or we can have a single sensitivity data analysis. So let's understand both of them. So I'm moving net income down. So I have moved net income down. So I have just brought it down. Then I created uh, the values that I want to plug in and I want to plug these values into COGS. So this is my table zone. What I want to do is I want to plug these values of COGS and I want to find out what would happen if the COGS changed to 20 and I want to run a sensitivity analysis. 
So the first thing that I have to do here is to select the right data tables. So I've included 40 in my uh, table. Then I go to data, what if analysis data table and I do and I give the column input. Now this is the cell that we would uh, be changing based on our values that we have already specified. So we, we would like to put 20, 25, 30 and 35 the table that we have selected into, into the cogs and find out what would happen then. So if you observe, we if we keep it 20 the way it is now, we'll still get a net income that we already see. But when we keep on changing this, we'll get a different net income. So this is a one dimensional data table. And we can have a 2D data table that would change uh, two parameters. Let's try to look at that. Okay, now we are going to change uh, two values in our analysis and we are going to see how does net income moves when we change uh, two variables into our equation. So if you remember we have calculated net income as sales minus COX minus DNA minus interest and now I'm going to change COX as well as I'm going to change interest. So I'm looking for a pair where if I put 20 COX which is on the uh, column and, uh, in, and uh, interest which is uh, the row and I want to find out what would happen then and I want to create all these scenarios so for that I I need to first select the entire table where I have the input and the output so that's step one don't just select the uh, area that's inside this table the way in which it is built up that it will automatically take uh, the yellow part as input and uh, the row and the column input respectively from the first row and the first column that's the convention they use if you remember we use the same convention in VLOOKUP where it will just uh, look for the first row and first column to search for a particular value now we have to include the data table so I'll go to the data table in the column input cell I'm going to select COX in the row input cell I'm going to select net income and I'm going to run this I think I did just the reverse. So, so I'm going to do that again. Okay. I'm getting the value. If you observe, what is the value that we are getting here? And uh, these are our current values. So this is the current value that we are using. And this is the current interest. So these are like the current values that we have. And if we change these parameters, if we change COX to 35, and if I do that, if I change COX to 35 and interest to 25, I should get 10. So let's try to do that. Can I change this to 25 and I get 10. Of course, the data table is moving in the same direction. So this 10 and this 10 now matches. So we have created a sensitivity in two dimensions and we are changing two parameters. <coughs> As time moves ahead, we'll see how to add a third parameter there and we have to jumble and mingle two data tables to do that. So that was, that was the part of the data table. In the next uh, part, we'll see goal, seek, index, match and if function. Thank you for listening to this very small recording. I hope this was useful.